Red Mountain High School Robotics is a nonprofit organization that promotes science, technology, engineering, and math through robotics programs to better the future generation of engineers. We are Team Plasma. We have just completed our fourth year as a robotics team. We are the only robotics team for Mesa Public Schools and are one of two robotics teams for Mesa, Arizona. Our team is based out of the engineering club at Red Mountain High School and is run by the engineering teacher, Mr. Brett Kellis. First semester, our team participates in Zero Robotics. Zero Robotics is a full programming competition run through Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT. Teams from around the country, only 20, compete against each other. They are given six weeks to write a program to complete a task from the game given at the start of your season. After six weeks, your program is run in a competition. You are given two weeks to refine your program before it runs against teams from your division. The different teams in your divisions then compete to see what top 10 teams get to go to MIT to participate in a simulation where your code and program will run on the International Space Station. Although we participate in Zero Robotics, our main focus is FIRST Robotics. FIRST, which stands for for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, was founded in 1989 by scientist and inventor Dean Keenan. The mission of FIRST is to inspire young people to be science and technology leaders by engaging them in exciting mentor-based programs that build science, engineering, and technology skills, that inspire innovation, and that foster well-rounded life capabilities, including self-confidence, communication, and leadership. FIRST offers four different levels of programs. Its first level is Junior FIRST LEGO League. In Junior FLL, first to third grade students work in teams of 10 to solve a world problem. Then, at competition, they present a model and give a presentation on how they would solve that problem. The second level is FIRST LEGO League. In FLL, fourth to ninth grade students work in teams of 10 to build a LEGO Mindstorm robot to complete tasks for the game that year. In September, the game is announced. Then, teams have about six weeks to build a small robot that runs autonomously and completes tasks. Autonomously means run off of pre-written code with no human interference. Like in Junior FLL, teams must also make a presentation about how they would solve a world problem. The third level is FIRST Tech Challenge. In FTC, teams of about 15 to 20 high school students build a robot out of Tetrix kit of parts. They are given six weeks to design, assemble, and program a robot to compete in that year's specific game, which is announced at their kickoff. Each robot must run autonomously and teleoperated. Teleoperated means running from the control of a drive team. The fourth level is FIRST Robotics Competition. In FRC, teams of 10 or more high school students build a large-scale robot. At the start of the season, usually the first Saturday in January, a kickoff is held. At kickoff, a three-minute game animation is played. Then teams collect their kit of parts, return to their building zone, and start six weeks of building. Within the six weeks, teams must design, prototype, cut, assemble, test, and program a robot. This competition is more challenging than previous levels because of their kit of parts. The FRC kit is very basic. Teams must fundraise and purchase additional parts if they would like to have any success at competition. After the six weeks are up, teams must stop all work on the robot and ship it to their regional competition. The first day of regionals is a practice day. Day two and the morning of day three are qualification matches where you compete on randomly selected alliances of three against three. Then, on the third day, teams participate in alliance selections. During alliance selections, the top eight teams pick two alliance partners to compete against the other alliances in the finals. The winning alliance moves to the first championships in St. Louis, Missouri. However, you can also qualify for nationals by winning various awards. At the championship event, teams compete in similar series of competition to determine that year's world champion. Our team participates in FRC, FIRST Robotics Competition. We just completed our fourth season very successfully. Our team was started in 2008 as part of Red Mountain Engineering Club. We started as a way to get more students involved in the freshly started engineering program. 
In 2008, the game was called Overdrive. The object of the game was to knock a 15-pound ball off a rack and move it around a track. To receive bonus points, you could shoot the ball or place it back on the rack. As rookies, our team did well. We made it to the semifinals of the Arizona region. In 2009, the game was called Moon Seed. The objective of the game was to pick up moon rocks and shoot or dump them onto opposing alliance trailers. Our team went to the Arizona regionals, however, we did not advance to the final round. In 2010, the game was called Breakaway. The objective of the game was to play soccer with your robots while maneuvering over two hills in the floor. For an end game, you could hang your robot on a rack. With our team's defensive robot, we were picked to be on the top seeded alliance and made it to nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. Competition-wise, 2010 was our most successful year. In 2011, the game was called Logomotion. The objective of the game was to score inflatable inner tubes in the shapes of a triangle, circle, and square onto scoring pegs to make a first logo. As an end game, robots had to deploy a mini-bot that could climb a tower. Our team attended two regionals, the Arizona Regional and the Las Vegas Regional. At the Arizona Regional, we were eighth seated Alliance captains and progressed to the quarterfinals. Fortunately, we did not go home empty-handed. We were picked as the winners for the 2011 Team Spirit Award for the Arizona Regional. Also, our head mentor and teacher, Mr. Brent Kellis, won the Arizona Regional Teacher of the Year Award. At the Las Vegas Regional, we were on the fourth seeded alliance, where once again we made it to the quarterfinals. We are looking forward to successfully completing another season and attending two regionals and also the World Championship event in St. Louis, Missouri. Robotics, however, is not the only thing we do. Throughout the year, our team participates in football games as well as graduation. We bring the robot out to the field, drive it in, and show it off at halftime and during the graduation ceremony. It's a great way to congratulate our team and also show off our sponsors. This summer, our team was invited to an INCOSI convention. INCOSI stands for International Council on Systems Engineers. At the convention, our team represented FIRST Robotics to system engineers around the world. We also represented the future generation of engineers and youth outreach for INCOSI. Now that our team has become established, we are looking into ways to help our community. To do so, we are hosting the first LEGO League Regional at Red Mountain High School, December 2nd and 3rd. To prepare for the regional, we have decided to help mentor and start teams. We also met with Mayor Smith and explained FIRST Robotics competition and what our team is doing for our community. He was impressed and is now helping us gain more publicity. There are many benefits to being in FIRST Robotics. First off, FIRST offers more than $14 million in scholarships to students. Also, the skills you learn through FIRST Robotics help you in every aspect of life. You not only learn how to build and use power tools, you learn the business aspect of a team. Also, students learn from skilled mentors. Learning from mentors means you're learning how to do things correctly and also gives you an internship-like experience. Another added bonus is that teams and team members get to travel. Not only are you traveling with your friends, you're traveling and doing something you love. Members, however, aren't the only people who benefit. Companies in the community benefit as well. Companies that sponsor FIRST and FIRST teams get the benefit and know that they are promoting the future generation of engineers. There are many different things that you can do to support a team. If you are a student enrolled in grades kindergarten through 12th grade, you can join a robotics team from Junior FIRST LEGO League to FIRST Robotics Competition, depending on what grade you're in. Adults can get involved too. You can become a mentor to your local team. When you're mentoring, you're teaching kids what to do. Then they take that knowledge and apply it and use it on the robot. It's only because of mentors that teams are as successful as they are. FIRST Robotics is an expensive organization to be a part of. 
Our team is currently looking for sponsors and financial donations. On a personal level, you can sponsor a team through ECA donation. An ECA donation is a tax credit and goes to an organization through the school district of your choice. Through a company level, you can sponsor our team as well. Each company that sponsors our team will have their logo featured on our competition and promotional robot, our team t-shirts, and have links with their logo on our team website. Companies can receive a tax write-off for their contributions. When you sponsor a first team, you are sponsoring the future. If you are interested in making a donation or would like to learn more information about our team, you can call our mentor, Mr. Kellis, at 480-472-8224. Email us at info at rmhsrobotics.com or visit our website at www.rmhsrobotics.com.